So this is the tutorial video for part two of module one. And in module one, part one, we set the assessment up as a sample homework assignment, and we now need to add in some questions. So a couple of ways we can do that, and we're going to look at three techniques for adding questions in this module. The first one is just to search for the question by what the topic is. I'm going to use the sample topic of finding coterminal angles, say for a Math 164 course. And you can pick a different topic or you can just follow along looking for a problem for coterminal angles with me. To search by topic, you want to click on Select Libraries. And here's a list of all the libraries organized. Uh, there's a document at the bottom of Module 1 that shows where in the libraries you can find problems for the different courses that you may teach. For coterminal angles, I'm going to be looking under Trig, and then we have Trig on Circles and just the general trigonometry. These both may contain problems on coterminal angles. Don't forget that there's textbook specific problems that may also be helpful. The Littman Rasmussen Precalculus book contains trigonometry problems as well. So we'll include those three libraries. You pick the libraries that you think are relevant and then click Use Libraries. Now you notice that those libraries are now being used and if you just want to include all the questions in those libraries, you just hit search. If you want to narrow it down a little more, you can actually put in some keywords in the search box. But we just want to look at all the questions. I'm just going to hit search. You'll notice that the list of questions are organized by headers that match along with the libraries we selected earlier. Remember the first library I selected was Trig on Circles. And underneath it are all the questions in that library. The next set is for just trigonometry. Remember that was the second box that I checked. And the last one is for the textbook, it should be, there we go, Lippmann Rasmussen Precalculus. So we now have all the problems for these. And probably the most important thing is just the description of the problem that shows up right underneath that category. So the description, and you can go ahead and read through those descriptions and find a question that suits your needs. So I wanted to find one dealing with coterminal angles, and so these descriptions here, finding coterminal angle, seem pretty relevant. So I'm going to go ahead and check the box next to the one I want. You can also preview these, so take, click on preview, make sure it's one that you want, you can even see how the answers work or try submitting it. And once you get the one that you like, based on the preview and the description, we can then check the box. And you can check multiple boxes to add multiple problems at a time, but we're just going to pick the one. Okay. Once we've found the problem we want based on this uh, search, we can then just hit Add using defaults. And that will add that problem to the assignment. So now that same problem is the first problem in our assignment. Now, if there's too many here and you did want to narrow this down, you can put in a search word like coterminal, and that'll just bring up the problems that have the word coterminal in their description that are also in the libraries you selected. Notice that reduced the number drastically. And notice that the one we picked is already in gray, so letting us know that has been added to the assessment. All right, so that concludes part two, where we find a question based on the topic. In part three, we're going to use the same assignment, so don't close it out. Uh, we're going to add more questions to this and pick up in the next video.